Okay, I've put the uh, insulation on the other side of this wall now, and that's the dial stuff. So I'm just going to uh, insulate, uh, sorry, put the carpet down now. to show you all this has been done now with a matte varnish or a satin varnish to protect the wood so I've gone all the way along here now and then down here is all lined as well ready because that's where the cupboards all go where the uh, fridge and everything it's all back there just ready to put the vents and stuff in and uh, I thought I'd move through just before I wrap the day up and just to give people an idea of a bit of progression that things are actually happening so that's insulated on that side and I've also put the carpet up. The carpet is just your average, you know, it's not foam back, it's a, you know, uh, a material, you know, you can see there, look. And all I've done is pinned it with a couple of nails, you know, measured it, cut it, pinned it there and then rolled it all the way up and then just held it and put spray glue all the way down and then just rolled it out slowly onto itself and you can see it's gone on absolutely beautiful really nice finish as well and this is all ready now so cupboards will be going in this side of the van is getting very close to sort of looking something like okay right this is video number four I've started doing the kitchen unit now um, I've cut this down to size and I'm now fitting the sink so I've marked it what I'm going to do now is drill it jigsaw this space out then I'll put the sink in see how it goes and then I've got a grinder with a sander on and all I'll do is I'll just keep working at the edges until it drops in nice and flush um, I have to turn the radio off because on the last video copyright issues believe it or not <clears throat> so that's where I'm up to now so I'm just starting with the uh, fitting that and also the off cut there that I'll use that as a, might use that as a splashback you know see how see what room I've got anyway so so that's where we're up to okay <clears throat> made a couple of holes out of the corner and then going around with the jigsaw and then I'll show you the finished product when I've cut through. Uh, sink fits in now but this has got some little like screws there look you see now it's a bit awkward to mark with a pencil if you look at the colour of this because I've gone for granite so if you can just see inside there now I've put some masking tape and then I've just gone round it with a pencil there and I'll do the same here just to show you you can see there so I know where to drill then without drilling the wrong hole somewhere and then that will then drop down and that will be it, it fitted like with the sink on top before all the units go in just to give you an idea there you go and the uh, little hob will go on top of here and then the oven in there okay, nothing to do with van building but check out this in the sky look how weird this is Look at the amount of goals up there. They must be after flying ants. There must be ants coming out of the ground. Either that or Alfred Hitchcock is writing another book. Crazy, isn't it? Okay, she's in. I'll just give you a rough idea of what it looks like now. With the units in. Obviously I can get to all the back there and the unit is not fastened in yet. But she's there. It's starting to take shape, that's the main thing. Firstly, sorry reference the top off, it's just too warm. But to all them skinny people watching, your metabolism will slow down one day too. Right, just to show you quickly, the 
source, you know, the draw for the cutlery and everything. I bought that for a quid off a car boot. It was in plain wood. I took the liner out from the inside and what I did then is I painted it with white undercoat. Uh, give it a couple of coats and then I've done it with a satin varnish finish now uh, to protect it and that'll, that'll match the drawer and everything there. So it's just to show you, you know, for a quid what you can do. Um, it's not all about expense. So today, belly of the beast. It's time to cut into the uh, bodywork. Nobody enjoys it, I don't care what they say. Nobody likes cutting into it because compromise. But uh, today the weather's good and I can't ignore it, so windows. Okay, so we'll catch up now. What I've done, when I remove the windows from the caravan, I made templates of the hole, which makes life so much easier. All I've done is take the template to the area of metal where I'm going to cut, spirit level across the top, just make sure she's nice and level, then mark a pen round. Now I'm going to take this off, drill a few holes, and then I'm going to I'm doing this with a uh, jigsaw. You can do it with many things, grinders, whatever. But I'm comfortable with a jig, so it's a bit noisy. But I use a finer blade on it uh, with finer teeth, and uh, it seems to do the job quite well. Okay, what I'm doing now is drilling a series of holes, and I'll work that all the way around, and I'll show you when it's done. cut wood fitted there you can see here look um, and then the <coughs> primed because of obviously this is bare metal all down here so that's been primed then the uh, we'll get that gear somewhere then um, this is the wood cut out that was over the top of it so what I've done is I've uh, varnished this bit here to protect it for a uh, give it some longevity as they call it and then the other side I've carpeted that obviously the template is cut out and everything so I'm going to fit that to the inside now before I put the window on vest back on just for the health and safety then I've just put the window rubber on just to test it just to see how it fits and everything but I can't secure it until I've actually fitted the window because the, the catches will come in at a certain place. So what I'm going to do now is just take this rubber back off and then fit the external window. Um, but what I've done is tidied up that trim, put a bit of carpet over it and everything, painstakingly drilled it and fitted it. Um, what I would recommend next time is if you are fitting carpet is you can get those little press studs with a metal you know like a hole because as I've drilled it's pulled at the carpet thread so what I've done is stabbed it with a small screwdriver then stabbed it with a thicker one made a bit of a hole so I'm not touching the drill bit it's been a bit fiddly but it's you know it's done the job but next time round I'll put that in with like a metal sleeve and then drill through that and then put the screw in and then that will just pull it in without it touching the fabric at all but it's gone on nice and it's it's tidied up an old piece of wood that looked tatty like that and now it's made it uh, a bit more acceptable so i'll fit the line the window okay what i've done is put some of this stuff which is 
Evo stick serious stuff. That good, it grabs all the other. And um, I've put it inside the seal here. Uh, it's a waterproof sealant as well. Um, so it will it will fasten the rubber, it will glue it to there, but it will also uh, remain waterproof as well, which is what we need. So we've got a leading edge there as well, you see. So it's nearly ready for window going on. Uh, I'm clearing all the uh, excess gum and rubbish off it now. While Tracy discusses her wishes for the perfect wedding. <clears throat> no need to go silent, dear, just because the camera's on. Well, you keep saying I'm trying to interfere. No, 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 you're fine. On my own YouTube channel. Yeah, if you want your own, you build your own van. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is our honeymoon vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> you cheapskate. So all I'm doing now, before I put the window in, is I'm just cleaning all this rubber down because it's harder to get to once it's all fitted. Um, so. And the caravan it come out of, they weren't the tidiest individuals in the world, so it just gets rid of uh, any excess grime and botulism and uh, Ebola that might be uh, hanging around on the rubber. Yeah. Also, with cleaning it as well, it's just giving it um, the glue a bit of time to go off as well. Uh, which is underneath the rubber and I'm just cleaning that under there as well but when I start polishing I can go up here with a buffer and fetch all that back up nice and clean and there we go And the excess uh, glue off the rubber. Okay, I'm going to fix, put the fasteners in now. And these were uh, on the sides here, and then that's where the windows come in and clip to. So I'll put them in because I'm thinking before I drill that, I could actually put the window in and fasten it, and then I can drill at my leisure then, that's the theory. Okay, window's almost in. I've drilled the holes at the top. The mistake I made, I bought the putty that's in a strip. Um, get it on eBay, there's a guy down the southwest sells it. I might have his address on here, I'm not sure, because a lot of them were expensive. Um, it just says Paul Davis, Willowbrook, Witheridge, Tiverton, Devon. So, but um, that's in <coughs> because the other stuff was expensive uh, for packaging and stuff like that. So I've got to redo it again because when I drilled through, it pulled the putty off and flapped it round like a boot lace. So I'm just redoing that, and then I'll put the screws in, and then the window's in. Okay, there she is with the window in. Right, what I've done is emptied the van out, so I think sometimes you can get bogged down with all your stuff. So, to recap, all I've done today is I've, I've just cleaned all the door shuts, but... Have a good look there. So, you can see there, look, there you go. It's uh, carpeted, all smartened up, all the window locks fasten. Um, there you go, it's a bit silhouetted but you get an idea anyway. Um, next is trim all around here now. You know, I've got some trim on the floor there look and stuff. That's going to go into here, you know, smartly all up now. Trim all the edges up here, fit that cupboard front there. Aluminium reflective sheeting to go under here and you know to reflect the heat from the cooker fit a splash back and stuff like that and just basically tight
tidy up uh, that job, drill the plumbing on the sink and everything as well. Um, so all of that and obviously the vent and stuff. Um, and then that's it, I can seal that then and I can build around it and start moving on. So here she is, all nice and cleared out, tidy, ready for the next job that I want to take on. Okay, um, so I'll show you the sink area once it's finished. Um, the, other, the other job I'll probably start doing as well is the roof vent, which um, is that one, I think. It's either that, yeah, it is, it's this one. Or it could be that one. I haven't decided yet because the log burner obviously that will need to come up here. But I should have room for everything. So with the sink there above. Because if you're cooking it's nice to get the vent up there. Plus also if the log burner gets a bit warm. Open the vent, open the window, let some air in. Because it might be raining, you know. Um, so that's where we're up to at the moment. Uh, so I've just had a good tidy up. and got everything ready uh, for the next job as well. I've also... A lot of vans side doors they tend to leak water down the front and they run down so what I've done is uh, at last time I had a van I fitted like a plastic gutter you know like a solid uh, cute, you know square piece of plastic you can get for double glazing and various trims and that I put one across so when the water did run down it dropped a bit further away from the door but what I did is I went on eBay and I bought some door rubbers you know and it's 3m's as well the tape so that's good stuff and what I've done is I've stuck it there so it's along there and I've stuck it along the top of that as well so it creates a nice cushioned seal and obviously the water when it runs down won't be able to run down here it'll have to run down the front there if it, if it does but it should create a watertight seal because obviously with fitting the carpet and everything here and all that I don't want to be getting that wet now, I want to keep it nice and tidy, so, but, uh, okay, so tune in to the next one, and uh, I'll show you what I'm up to then, uh, on part five, okay, thanks for watching, bye. Shitting.